this is going to be our home for the next little while. I can't believe it. I cannot tell you how excited I am to go sailing today. <sighs> Welcome to season six of Sailing Ruby Rose. As you can see, this is not Ruby Rose. <laughs> this is our interim boat, our boat to take us through this season and we are in Australia. For the next few weeks, for the next episodes, we are gonna be sailing this boat up the New South Wales coast. For those of you not familiar with Australian geography, this is the center of Sydney and we will be going north and maybe even south to show you the beauty of this area. And then later on in the season, we'll be sailing up to the Whit Sundays, which is up in Queensland. So we've got a lot of amazing stuff to show you, haven't we? Yeah, we absolutely do. Today, we need to figure out what we're doing. We do. We have some southerly winds at the moment. They're going to be with us for a few days, um, which means we need to have a look to see what anchorage we can go to today. We are in Roselle Bay in Sydney Harbour and we are looking to see where else in Sydney Harbour we can go today for our very first night on board. We can either go to Manly. Yes. The alternative is here. The alternative is somewhere called Rose Bay. Yeah. I thought maybe we could just get going and just enjoy the sail past Sydney Harbour Bridge and oh, the no, Opera we'll House. Do. Listen, we'll, what we need to do is get everything up and running. Yeah. Make sure everything, we're happy with the way everything works. Yep. I need to go and make sure that I'm pretty happy with how the anchor deploys. Boot up the sea zone, make sure all the equipment is running. Mm -hmm. Start the engines, run the engines up, make sure the water's coming out, make sure there's no squeaks, leaks or drips. Mm -hmm. And then we can move. Yeah, All right, absolutely. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so it's a little bit on the rainy side today. It's still really lovely and warm and sunny. It's like the second day of autumn here, which is crazy. I don't know if you can see behind me because it is obscured by rain and cloud at the moment, but that is Sydney and we'll be getting a lot closer to it. <laughs> we'll be getting a much better view of it very soon, but that is the direction that we'll be going in. Da, 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 da. This way I can keep an eye on you wherever you are. So we've got to take the black line with us on, it's on starboard. Starboard stern. Okay. Yep. Everything else stays on the dock. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take this boat out on the dock. What do you want to do? I cannot tell you how excited I am to go sailing today. And on this beautiful catamaran. This is going to be our home for the next little while. I can't believe it so different to Ruby Rose. <sighs> Gets me very excited for Ruby Rose 2 as well. So that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a lot of Ruby Rose 2 related conversations over the next uh, little while, I think, as we get used to living on a catamaran again. It's off for the lines if you want to steer out. Yeah. You've got a mid and a stern. All right, well, don't you get, aren't you getting on the boat? Yeah. Are you on? Yeah. Which work out which way the wind is blowing? It's, be be it's behind me, it's coming from oh, right. so this you way. Can you tell me, yep, when I'm clear? Yep. All right. Yeah, you're clear. All right. Off you go. Off you go. Yeah, we're going to have to get used to uh, just having two of us on a big boat. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Scared? I'm a bit like, it's a bit scary. Yeah, I am a bit scared. Get on the seat. I can see everything. The, my vis the visibility is not the problem. Me. I'm nervous. Really I'm not nervous? gonna lie. I am nervous. Why I'm you be nervous. Because I'm about to take a, a very expensive boat that doesn't belong to me through Sydney Harbour, one of the busiest waterways, like certainly in Australia, if not the world. And uh, oh, I see. Yeah, we can do that now because this window opens. No. Is that you're right in my way. I am nervous. I, I don't know this area at all. And we've got a big boat and I don't, I'm not familiar with it. Just uh, avoid hitting anything. 
I know that's the number. That's that's all that sailing's about, really. Just don't hit anything, and you'll be fine. Go slowly. Go okay. very slowly. Make your intentions very clear when you're turning. So apparently, this is Anzac Bridge. It's pretty stunning, like the center of Sydney. Like of all the places we've been, everything holds something new from kind of rocking up in South Carolina. So then, you know, turning up in Thailand or France or the French canals or the Caribbean. And yet this is something completely different and amazing again. It's just one of the many, many reasons we love sailing because it's just like a varied pursuit. So yeah, so we are gonna sail around Sydney Harbor, um, sail past some of the most iconic landmarks in the world, probably. Yeah, the Sydney, Sydney Opera House and Sydney Harbour Bridge are two amazing, amazing icons. Yeah, no, yeah, so make sure. Okay, let me go to the other side, babe. Yeah, go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, straighten up. You're fine on this side if you oh. carry on like this. Yeah. All right. Are you scared? I was scared. I was, that was, that, I was nervous about that. I know I'm Australian, but that is still so exciting. I still get a thrill every time I see, see the Sydney Harbour Bridge. How absolutely magnificent. This is so cool. We are about to sail under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I can see the Opera House. I cannot tell you what a thrill this is for me. I know that sounds like, I feel like when we're in our own country, things are just a little bit underwhelming sometimes because you just take for granted these like iconic kind of monuments and landmarks. But I don't know, not for me, not this time. To sail, it's not my own boat, unfortunately, but to sail a boat under the Sydney Harbour Bridge, past the Sydney Opera House. Whoa. Was that wake? Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Yeah, this is a big thrill for me. Very quick last minute change of plans, but hopefully for the better. We we're just coming past here and we remembered that the other day when we actually walked around here, there were loads of boats at anchor just in this little bay. And we just checked the book and it said that you can't anchor here. And we're like, what a great place next to the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge and the CBD and the Royal Botanic Gardens to um, stop and just, you know, take a few minutes to enjoy the view. Maybe have some lunch, have a cup of tea. Uh, how are we going to deploy this anchor? Do I need to, uh, is it all done from the helm? I'm going to try doing it from the helm. I think if there's any to it, I'll sort it all out. I'll, I'll now you're not swearing this season, are you? Because it takes up too much, too much of my time to bleep, be bleeping things out. Muffin, <laughs> muffin. Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? baby all right all right well, let's um let's chill let's chill let's pop the kettle on have a little sandwich and uh a little sandwich little taking, cup of tea. taking the view so that sound you can hear is the pump the shower pump nick's having a very quick shower and a shave because we just got a phone call as we were literally kind of sailing underneath Sydney Harbour Bridge from a newspaper called the Sydney Morning Herald and they want to do a story and they want to send out a photographer to do some photos. <laughs> Our lives are so strange sometimes. So we're like, okay, sure, no problem. We'll just take a quick turn and drop the anchor next to the opera house. I mean, like, hopefully, you know, the photographer's happy with this spot, can't get much better. We'll pick her up in the dinghy 
next to the opera house very soon but in the meantime nick has to make himself look presentable i definitely need to make myself look presentable i've got hat hair and i haven't like wash my hair in days and I don't have a hair dryer on board so it's all gonna be pretty you know rough and ready as always that's what happens when you live on a boat this is the look that you get I'm quite tempted to stay here tonight but it is quite bouncy because the there's a lot of weight in the harbour obviously um, and it bounces off the um, it refracts off the walls here now it's all the anchorage looks like being back in a mud hole <laughs> Alright, got some makeup on, done my hair. Nick has gone to get the photographer. I'm knocking back a very quick cup of tea. I'm afraid all filming must stop for the moment. We'll be back after the photographer has left and we are underway again. Proper job. Oh, that was a nice little uh, stop. Just had a photographer come on board, hilarious. And she was lovely. She's normally like a war photographer. She's stuck in Australia, photographing us. <laughs> I think quite the come down for her. Um, exciting for us though, to be photographed by like a veteran war photographer. <laughs> anyway, so now we're off and I think we might go to Manly. Manly? Okay, Manly, I reckon Manly. Oh, my love. So, um, a lively sale. My big, lovely Sony camera um, was on the tripod on the table and um, it went flying onto the floor. So, it seems to be working at the moment. My heart was in my mouth. We dropped the camera. But all I would say is that it's a little bit rolly here. We always, when we anchor, we always stay on the boat for an hour just to make sure that everything's settled, that nothing's dragging, that everything's sorted out. Now, I kind of the procedure that we go through when we kind of finish that up for the day, number one, get all the instruments turned off. Before we do that, we'll see how much battery power we've got. Now, we'll have a look at the draw as we're going through the night. But also, because we've been sat quiet for a bit, I've kind of, we've kind of tried to address where the squeaks are. There's... Um, it's the main sheet. It's the main sheet. The main mm -hmm. sheet's um, squeaking a little bit. It could be the main sheet or the traveller, so I think what we're gonna do is go up on the coach roof and see if we can get that to stop stop uh, squeaking a little bit. What you got there? Dry and wet lubricant. It's just I think it's the uh, there's a little bit of salt in the in the in Yeah. The yeah. And then dinner tonight is cooked by moi. Um, I've been uh, charged with doing a risotto. So we've got chicken risotto for dinner. So Do we, we know what we're doing tomorrow? No. Well, no, well, you're the one that does all the, all the uh, tell me what I do tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Today was a good day. Today was a very lovely day. It's a bit full on. Yeah, it wasn't a quiet day, was it? No, it wasn't a chilled out day. I don't think we're going to have one of those for a little while. All right, we moved. I made Nick move. It happens quite often. So here we are. We just moved only about, I don't know, like maybe 200 metres away. Well, I thought, instead of being out in the middle where it's a bit rolly and um, the view wasn't quite as lovely, um, then we can come into this bay, have it all to ourselves, hopefully. We've got a lovely beach behind us and uh, yeah, there's lovely, is I think Park National Park here. Yeah, I think this would be a nice little spot for us to spend the night. So looking forward to settling down. It's been a funny day. 
lovely day so far. Start again tomorrow. Don't know what tomorrow will bring. That's what I can look at now, actually. We are in Sydney Harbour at the moment and we want to get up to Pittwater, which is north, um, about, I think about 15 miles north. So once you get out the cup, so um, it's really not that far at all. Um, and Pittwater is an absolutely beautiful, apparently, big um, inland waterway. Loads of little kind of uh, anchorages and national parks and waterfalls and little uh, inlets and all sorts of things. So we can't wait to explore um, around Pittwater and, and beyond. But we need to get up there. So we've got Southerlies um, this week, which is obviously ideal. Um, the Southerlies um, are a little bit on the strong side and they've brought with, us, uh, with them um, some rainy weather, but at least we will be having a nice downwind sail. I must say that, Nick, do you agree? Like we had a bit of a beam. Yes, I agree. Well, <laughs> We had like swell on yes. the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Don't beat me by a third. <laughs> <laughs> Don't thrash me. We've been good all day. <laughs> I would like to make the point that I feel like that swell on the beam today is pretty bumpy going past that. Um, going past the cart. I didn't think it was too uncomfortable at all. I mean, everything went flying, but even so. From the point of view of the double bump. I didn't notice it. That's the first no, thing. I didn't notice it either. And I've noticed a double bump before. And what we mean by double bump is that we have two holes. So when you've got a beam C, you get two bumps. Well, yeah. Just one in a monohull. Yeah. So that was that wasn't so bad. And I didn't feel, um, despite the fact that it was quite lumpy, that it was uncomfortable. Do you know what? I just went down a rabbit hole. I, I'm not. I'm not being an egomaniac here. The eight top search terms, like for us as a channel. Like keyword, like search terms, search Go Google people, search terms. When people search, or ask questions about us. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I know one is how old is Teresa? Yeah, well, the top the top eight at the moment, okay, but there's YouTube, Catherine Reviews, Instagram, what type of boat is Ruby Rose? Nick Fabry, age. Yeah. Sailing Ruby Rose, Nick, age. <laughs> oh, so they don't care about my age? because you look young and beautiful. What, and you look, look old like, and haggard? I just look like a microwave Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> so people really want to know how old you are? 49. He's 49, people. He looks good. Join us next week as we continue to settle into life on board a 42-foot catamaran. We practice some close quarter manoeuvring as we go under bridges and pick up mooring balls and we get acquainted with the local wildlife. I walked into a cobweb. <laughs> <laughs> what the f are we doing out here? That thing would be f out of me. Wow, did we do that? <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs> Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it.